what is going on everybody um it's been a little bit since i've done a video but i've been super busy out in the garden um i'm still busy today but uh i really needed to harvest a few things to make some uh some nice uh spring rolls so i needed a uh, a few things and i figured i might as well you know take you outside into the in the garden while it's still nice and cool out um things are things are going crazy we've had quite a bit of a rain lately and um, it really shows. Uh, I might do a walk around video after I do this, just so I can, I can kind of document and show you what what's going on. Um, a lot of stuff don't, is doing really good. Some of the things uh, could be better, but um, I'm pretty happy with the, the season so far. But let's just get to it. I know I'm gonna need one of these uh, heads of cabbages. I don't have many left, um, but uh, they should be pretty good. So let me pull out the old knife here and get one out. I think uh, I think my uh, my spring rolls. I'm gonna need a little bit of cilantro, uh, head of cabbage. Um, I've got purple dragon beans, and I've got yellow wax beans. So I think that's everything I'll need. But we'll see where it goes. Um, let's see here, which one looks better? That one could still grow a little bit, but this bad boy is right. <laughs> oh, I love it. These haven't even been on the ground that long. These are uh, early on a cabbages, which realistically only take about 60 days, and they are, they're good to go. And that's that's more than enough. About uh, two and a half, three pound head. Uh, well, roosters are out. Um, yeah, it's about two and a half, three pound head, and looks pretty good. So let's keep going. All right, up next, a few wax beans. Pick them while they're young, so they're nice and tasty. These ones have been going, oh, probably about 50, 55 days. I won't need too terribly many of these either, but honestly, it's just fun coming out and picking your own stuff. If you have never done this, I recommend it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, these guys are laden. I actually kind of should have been out here about a week ago because there's a few that have gone a little too far and I'll just I'll feed those to the chickens, which is probably why they're calling and growing and making a whole mess of noise while I make a video. Because why not, right? Let's see. Ooh. I've got some pole beans going in the corn now. I'm trying to do a little bit of a Three Sisters method where you put the, the corn with squash and your beans. To, and it seems to be working out okay. Um, everything could go better on that kind of thing. I have very little experience with Three Sisters, so it's all kind of just a shot in the dark. But I'll take it. I seriously need to come out here and just just do a straight harvest video on these. Or not even just harvest it, just harvest the heck out of them. Lord almighty. I really don't need all this many. I wanted to do a little mix and match of the purple dragon beans and the cabbage and the regular yellow wax beans. But this is what it's looking like so far. Let's go for some purple dragon beans. All right, purple dragon beans up next. And they are a gorgeous, gorgeous burgundy purple. That's, that's, that's gorgeous. Now I know when you cook them, oh zip it. I know when you cook them, the, the color's supposed to leave them. So I might just try and blanch them. And that's about it. Just a, just boil them for just a few moments and call it a day. But I really want to maintain some of that color. But you know what? I could get a little bit more color in here. I'll harvest a couple beets. They'll do well in there too. Oh yeah, these guys are cool. I've never, I've never done purple dragon beans before. My, uh, my wife's grandma said they were pretty cool. I don't know if she's ever done them either. But uh, you know, I, I, I heard her talking about them. And I decided, hey, that sounds pretty cool. Right up my alley. Let's make it happen. So we did. And I'm glad I did, because they look good. Very cool. I like doing stuff I've never done before. And these things are definitely neat. Ooh. I don't need too terribly much for these things either. What I do need is for the, for the chickens to shut up, though. That'd be nice. No one's watching the videos for you guys. There we go. That ought to be enough. 
let's get some beets. All right, over at the beet bed. Um, it's funny, I actually, I eat more of the beet greens than the actual beet bulbs themselves. I just like the uh, the chew and the, the, the texture, the meaty texture of the leaves. But uh, I think the beets, the bulbs sliced nice and thin inside of a, inside of one of these rolls should be pretty good. So let me see if I can't find, you know, maybe two or three really good looking ones. Gorgeous. <laughs> uh, don't need anything too terribly big. Give me a small one, guys. There we go. Wow. <laughs> oh, look at that little cluster of tiny ones. That's good. And then the, oh, I can even add some of these very, very purple, purple leaves, the base of them, straight to these spring rolls, too. So that should be pretty good looking. Let me get this uh, put on this tray and then I'll, I'll get a little bit closer to you so I can see, so you can see what I've done. <laughs> hey, spider, get off my stuff. Yep, go, go, get at him. Get at him. <laughs> oh, no, stay on the, this is why I need a nice wide bubble. about there. All right, so you can see I've got a nice head of cabbage. I've got my purple dragon beans, my yellow wax beans, and some gorgeous, gorgeous Detroit purple beets. Um, I'm going to chop all this up finely, and I'm going to make some pretty good taste in spring rolls. So until next time, happy gardening.